Let's have a look at why potentially you would need a root canal treatment. If this was you and you would have said, somebody, let's say a dentist would tell you, you have a, a hole in this tooth and you have to take an x-ray. And you'd be like, no, no, it's fine. It doesn't hurt me. Eventually when it hurts you, it's going to be too late. So what's happening here? Look, the dentist is opening up the hole and it's becoming gigantic. You wouldn't expect that. You would think, oh, that's just a small hole. What's happening underneath? There's usually a whole cave of cavity going on underneath that you want to completely avoid. The longer you wait, the bigger it becomes. So if you don't feel it when it's small, then you're going to be left with this. Now look, she's basically removing all the decay and all the soft spots. How does this happen? The hole starts small, there is lots of bacteria, and the bacteria will start eating through the tooth, let's say. So they enjoy the food that you eat, and they create as a byproduct acid. The acid will do this. It will make your teeth soft, and you'll basically ruin the enamel and the dentine. It will demineralize the tooth. It gets all the minerals out of it. And what's left is soft and gooey. And see, the dentist is trying to go slow. That's why they're trying to use a manual uh, cleaning or a hand cleaning, not to accidentally end up inside the pulp chamber where the nerve of the tooth lives. But there's only so much we can do. If it's too late, it's too late. So they're getting everything out. And you can see how much goo and soft stuff is there. And eventually, they're going to end up inside the pulp cha chamber because that's already been there. That's already too late. They're using a um, disclosing agent, which basically when you rinse it, it only remains in the areas that still there are decay. So they are just making sure that they only remove the bad stuff, the soft stuff, the decay, not the actual tooth structure that might just be discolored and be just brown, but it doesn't, it's not affected by the caries. So then they're removing the extra enamel on the side. They are removing all the decay that stays pink with the disclosing agent. And eventually you're going to see that they're going to end up in a little hollow space, which is the pulp chamber. The pulp chamber is where we keep, uh, we have our um, blood vessels and nerves. And that's why it hurts when the infection gets there because the infection will inflame the nerve. The nerve is inflamed, but it's in a closed space, so it becomes painful and sends pain signals to your brain. Again, using the disclosing agent, washing it out, and you're gonna be left with only the areas that have cavities. They're trying to be very cautious and not remove the areas that are just discolored and not decayed. I see they're going to clean the rest and eventually it's going to end up inside the pulp chamber. So to avoid that, you want to remove that cavity when it's just a small hole, and you want to get regular checkups with your dentist to tell you when you have small holes.